Hello, welcome back to the channel, it's great to see you. If I have put these up correctly, you should have already seen these little memory decks cards that I made. These are for a Happy Mailers group swap on Facebook. Um, if you want to see these ones in more detail, I will link the previous video down below for you. I was looking for a fun way to package those up and I came across Ara's um, Instagram, Ara, Ara, I'm not sure how you say that, I'll have to ask and work that out. But, um, she is the paper treasury on YouTube and on Instagram and she made these gorgeous clear pocket, um, what would you call them, pouches, envelope pouches and uh, she followed a tutorial which she links in her video so I'll link that as well, I'll link all of her creations because they are beautiful so make sure to go and check those out. She made clear ones, let me see if I've got a clear one, so she made clear ones like this and then she put a shaker down the bottom. I wanted to do something a bit different. I wanted sequins like all through them, which I have seen other people do, but I wanted them to not be inside the pocket. So I found a way, let me show you, to add the sequins in, but they're not inside here. They're trapped inside the plastic. So that makes it look like a shaker, but obviously not everything's gonna fall out on you when you open it. I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen anyone make them like this before, but if I do find someone that has, I will link them because I didn't look extensively or anything. So I think this is my idea, but I give credit to anybody else who's made them and obviously to Ara and the original creator for the clear envelope pouches because they were not my idea at all. I just used, this isn't the exact one because it's got the um, card slots but I just use one of these page protectors just a top loading one to make these so I already had them in my stash which was great because I have just finished doing the cats want versus need challenge and these all came about when I was still doing that so these were already in my stash it was a great way to use them up and give something new a try these are what I've come up with which I thought I'd show you on here it's easier to show you on a video than on a picture like shakers and things like that so that's why I'm doing it here I'll start off with this one so as you can see I've stitched all around the edge I use the basic tutorial from the lady that Ara tagged and I did it with some velcro rather than the um, coin bits but other than that it's quite similar so I stitched along this when it was flat and then folded it up but before I did that I filled the whole thing with sequins this one was the first one I made and I found an easier way to make it by the time I've done this one so if you guys would like a tutorial on how I made them exactly let me know and I will try and make one for you but basically I just followed that tutorial only with the sequins sandwiched inside I wanted to try something different for the closure, so I've gone for these Velcro dots, which seem to hold quite well. I want to add, this one isn't, I'm not sure if it's completely finished or not, I wanted to add this pink tulle bow on the middle because I just think it matches, it looks nice. But it won't be the closure, I'll show you the one. So this would be the one that I'm adding because I have hot glued a split pin on the back which would just go through the front flap, so it's just decorative, it's not there to hold anything closed or anything but I'm not sure how fat that's going to make my parcel. Um, I don't know if the UK is different to everywhere else, but in the UK, if it's more than 2.5 centimeters, I think, it gets par it gets classed sorry, as a small parcel, and the postage goes up steeply from there. So I wanna try and keep these as flat as possible if I can. So I'm not sure if I will stick that on, or I might do it, doesn't look like it would be too, tall so anyway that's that one in here I have just got a mix of sequins the brief for the memory dates cards was to include black and white stripes so I've done that with this as well using the black and white stripe sequins from AliExpress I have got some white iridescent ones from the works these silver metallic and glitter ones are from home bargains in their we wedding section sorry words aren't working um and the pink little hexagons are from AliExpress and I just stuffed a bunch in there to match the memory dates cards. So this one matches this card, so no, that's not right. This one matches this card, sorry. And then this one matches the blue one. So for the blue one, I did something a bit different, not completely different. Um, the 
closure part instead of using circles like they suggested I've used stitched butterflies so I've just cut out these butterflies these are a Paige Taylor Evans cut file stitched down the middle and then poked the split pin through the middle and then I've just got this twine wrapped around exactly like you would with the circles just with butterflies so it doesn't make a huge amount of difference I stitched the butterflies down the middle rather than gluing them just so that the wings would stand up a bit like this so they're not completely stuck down but they're all different these are mostly Maggie Holmes sunny days papers and the um, I not eyelets split pins sorry I have had in my stash forever so I'm not sure where those are from this is some twine that I got sent in some happy mail and then again this one opens up and nothing falls out it's just they're all stuffed inside the plastic so nothing's coming out I have got some gold sequins here from Aliexpress, more of the white iridescent ones from the works, um, black and white striped from Aliexpress, some green and some blue ones which are from I think Factory Shop and then I've got more of these Home Bargains silver giant discs and I thought that was just really pretty to complement the colours in the memory decks cards and to put them into transport so I'm hoping this definitely fits one side so that will go in there like that and then I have got let me see if I can find it I haven't finished decorating these but I've got two little stitched butterflies that I just had on my desk so I've packaged those up and a little sample of a sequins mix this sequin mix matches this memory decks card so it's the same ones in there. So this one will actually go in here. But they should package quite nicely. Should fit quite nicely side by side. And then I will find some other kind of embellishments to go in here. Hopefully my swap recipients like them. I will try to tag some photos on Instagram, that sort of thing. Please do go over and join me on there if you aren't already. Please do subscribe here if you're not already. I really appreciate everybody watching my videos and leaving me comments and things. I love chatting to you guys. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.